chip, feeding them is a big task. The folks at the course are ready, though, with a method of concessions that's aimed to get you back on the course quicker. Our Sam Carter is at the 7th Green Market with more on that. Morning, Sam. Good morning, Erica. If you're like me, you remember the days of soggy hamburgers and hot dogs falling apart in your hands. Those are over, at least as far as the PGA Championship is concerned. Joining me right now is the executive chef at the Patina Food Group. It's Chef Ed Milan. Chef, um, first of all, this is amazing. Before we do anything, take me through what we have on the table, because this is all stuff people can get here on the course, right? Right. We have a few items from our premium areas. We have an heirloom tomato salad with uh, toasted pistachios, soft mozzarella, and fresh basil. I'm going to be eating that. We have uh, Espolita pepper-crusted uh, prime beef with blistered yellow tomatoes, walnut orange gremolata. A couple of items from our concessions is a uh, local Purnell's bratwurst with yeah. caramelized onions. We have a fresh butcher grind hamburger was grilled fresh to order. Local again, yep. Absolutely. Pickles and cheddar cheese, absolutely delicious and juicy. We have a little fresh salad with uh, pop sorghum. Love this. Marinated uh, onions, roasted peppers, Kirby cucumbers, mm. and a little... Uh, Georgia sweet potato pie. Yeah, super local right here. Super local, great company. Uh, put their profits to buying uh, books for underprivileged children. No, it's a really amazing, uh, a really amazing group. I want to ask you this because it's a huge undertaking. You guys are going to serve more than 100,000 hamburgers. You guys have ordered 88,000 bratwurst. I mean, it's an unbelievable amount. How And the food is good. I've eaten it. How do you keep the consistency like it is? Because we were just talking, you've been working with some of your staff a day and a half. It's all about planning and bringing in good supervisors to support us. We've written over 350 recipes. We test them. We photograph them. We give the people the information they need to succeed. And with every event you guys do, because this is not your first rodeo, do you learn something and kind of try and apply it? Absolutely. There's always one more thing to tweak. Can we do something in three steps instead of two and make it taste just as good and look just as good? Then we go that route. You know, in my job, I talk to a lot of chefs, and a lot of them are happiest when they're able to kind of create and have their own kind of style. Your job is probably a little bit different. Do you get to create and kind of bring some of your own flair into this? Absolutely. There's a little bit less of it, but it's also more fun because I get to travel. I've been to Louisville six times before this, eat in a lot of the restaurants, see what the local culture is, see what the local cuisine is, and fold that in and grow as a person too because I'm learning something new. Amazing. Guys, this is some of the premium food some of you guys can have. And this right here, the concession food, is unbelievably good. We are going to take you through all of it. Next half hour, guys, got the course superintendent to give us an update on what the course is looking like today. It looks really good, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, there's a it's lot of really good. good. <laughs> there's a lot of good food out there. Matt, you were out there yesterday, but you didn't get your hands on any, did you? Uh, I did not do that, but we were out at hole number nine, just kind of taking in some of the sights there for the first practice round yesterday. It was